Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jim again and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm really excited to announce that I'm going to be doing Unreal development videos. I also like to announce that they're going to be releasing their development kit today so you can get it as a pre-order and the link is going to be in the description of this video. I also like to walk you through some of the development setup by bringing in their SDK into Unity and then walking you through the emulator. So let's jump into Unity and start working on it. Today you can get the basically the development kit if you click in the in this link and then go into pre-order. This is what's available in the pre-order, and I recommend that you go into developer.enreal.ai. That's the link that they provided to me. So that, make sure that you go to that if you want to pre-order today. The other thing that I want to show you today, and this is going to be a very high-level overview by using the emulator tools because I don't have a lot of experience with the device. I should be getting the device very soon, and, and then I can give you a more you know practical example but once you download the SDK you can you can basically create a project and then import those those files into your Unity project. They they talk about what's available in the you know what you can actually do. You can do obviously this is gonna be six DOF space recognition. You can also do you know plane detection, hand tracking and multiplayer mode. I you can also do image detection. I was looking at the documentation and, and obviously the plane detection works really well, even, even in Unity. So if you want to get going, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and create a new project. So this one is going to be called, let's call it Unreal Demo. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to be, you know, if you need to download their SDK, just click on that link. I already did that. I don't want to, you know, waste any of your time to do that. So, but it's going to come up with these files. You're going to get a Hello MR APK and in real daemon so that you can run it on your Android device. And the reason why you get a daemon is because you, you have two ways of running this, right? You have a computer unit, which is basically an Android computer where you can run, it's similar to Magic Leap where you, you come up, it comes with a little computer and also the, the glasses. So in this case, they, they allow you, they extend that and actually cool because you can use the Android device and you can also connect your Android device to the glasses. I'm really hoping that they offer an iOS version at some point. And then obviously you have your documentation here and then the package that it's going to be, you know, Unity package that you can bring into your project. So to get going, you're going to be downloading these in real SDK. So I'm just going to go ahead and double click it. It's going to decompress and we're going to be importing those files. So they have a lot of different, you know, demos in here that you can use to get started. And this is similar to, you know, most companies that offer SDKs, they're going to get you the tools that you need to get going. So I'm just going to click on import. And then I'm going to show you how the SDK works, how the emulator works. Because one of the cool things is I was able to test it and without really knowing much. So while that's going, let's go ahead and look at the developer portal where they have a lot of documentation. So they're going to be walking you through what what features they have. So obviously this is going to be mixed reality apps. You can use Unreal, Unity, or you can use Android itself to develop into their platform. They're going to be walking you through, you know, what's available in the in the device. So you're going to be, you're going to have the glasses, you're going to have the little computer, the little computer unit. And then this is kind of like a controller that you can use to interact with the, you know, with the experiences. And I'm going to show you the emulator of that and how that looks in Unity. So the other things that I also wanted to show you is you they have a walkthrough where you can, which is basically what I'm gonna be walking you through. They, they're gonna talk to you about what do they support. They support 2018, that 2, that X or higher. That's going to be the version of Unity that, that is required. And also you're gonna need Android build support because this device is running on Android. And then this is the download, the SDK that I'm showing you and also the package that I'm showing you. I didn't really read this. To be honest, I just went ahead and, and I started working on it. I think it's just very simple and very straightforward. So the other things that they talk about here, they talk about image tracking. You know, what are some of the requirements for image tracking and what is a good image? What is a bad image? And, you know, a lot of, a lot of, a lot of these is very similar to other things that I show in the past and I promise I'm going to give you a more detail, you know, a more detailed tutorial about all these features. The other part, and I'm going to be jumping into some of these because I, and I just want to focus on some of the important ones. If you want to start developing right now, you can use the emulator. And to be honest, when I started working on this and looking at this, I'm like, oh, maybe I need to download this just a huge, uh, maybe I need to download this huge emulator that I need to get, you know, I need to get going. 
And it turns out that the emulator is just a scene in Unity, and you can just double click it and run it, and that's the emulator, which, which I really like because that way I can keep everything in Unity. So if you need to get going, you can go here, and this is what they're going to be giving to you. Once you get it imported into Unity, you're going to get this, this folder, which is called the Unreal SDK. And if we go into the emulator part, which is going to be in the emulator folder, and click on the scene, there's actually two different options for the emulator. You can do, you can use a trackable image emulator, or you can use a trackable plane emulator. So if we use the image emulator, what they have here is they have a scene where you can, they can emulate the image tracking functionality, which is actually really cool. So if we go here, let me just make this. I'm gonna go and zoom into, maybe to the magazine. There we go, something like that. And if I hit play, you're gonna see that it's going to be putting a cube right on top of the image, and that's because they're emulating the image detection. This is the other thing, the controller that they, they provide. This is the emulator of it. So if I hit the left arrow, they're basically emulating a swipe left, swipe right, swipe up, and swipe down. So you can use your arrow keys on the keyboard to do that. The other thing that I can also do, if I hold my shift button, and I basically, if you look at that, that beam, that laser that is on the right hand side, it's a line render, it's actually doing, it's doing a ray cast. So Right now it's green, that means that it's colliding with the cube. If it's you know, outside the boundaries of the cube, it's basically red. So as soon as you have detection and it's basically hitting the raycast, it shows you it shows you that in green. So that's really cool. The other things that you can do as well here, if I hit the right, you know, the right button on my mouse, it will emulate that I'm basically trying to go home. So if I want to go home and look at other apps, I can emulate that as well. I can also do the same, like if I want to do the middle button on my mouse, I can emulate different features that are on that controller unit. So that's this version. So if you want to, if you want to change the images, I'm going to go into that, those components in a future video. The other thing that they also emulate is going to be plane detection. So I'm going to double click on that and show you, let me go ahead and hit escape and then show you how that works. So same thing like the other one, you see a cube right here. And there is, you know, the actual plane detection is going to occur in this plane. So if I hit play, you're going to see that the cube is actually getting positioned at that point. You can also change that cube if you wanted to. And you can also change the implementation of the emulator if you wanted to. They have, you know, the native emulator. They have just different components in here that you can override. And I'm sure you can modify as well if you want to extend them. So that's basically the emulator and then the some of the components that I haven't really gone through, but you have an NR, NR camera rig. So this is gonna be very similar to the other rigs that I cover in the in the channel. You can use similar to the XR you know, components and also the Oculus, the Oculus integration camera rig. It's basically simulating the the basically what you are looking through, so it's gonna be your head position. The, you have different components in here, the ANR session behavior. This is very similar to what I did with AR Foundation. You get a post, a post tracker, which is very similar to the other you know, post trackers that I've been covering in the videos, and a manager in our, in our multi-display manager, which I'm gonna be covering as well. You also have an, basically a component for the input. So in this case, it's the Unreal input. It has an NR input script that is available and also the controller anchor helpers that I'm going to be covering. And then the, the actual trackable plane target, which in this case is similar to the, you know, the, what I done in the videos, which is the, the plane manager. So this is a very high level overview. And like I said, I'm going to be doing more videos. I just wanted to give you a high level overview of how this works and what's available. I'm going to be, you know, looking more into this and just to give you more information. I also cover some of the, you know, the simulated controller inputs. So this is going to be that UI component that you saw that I show you in Unity. Different buttons that you can use to simulate different gestures. So if you want to do a swipe right, a swipe left, swipe up and swipe down, this is what, you know, it's going to show on that UI. And then this is some of the sample code that you can also use to, you know, to get some of that simulation going. And which is really cool because, like I said, you can extend this if you like to. The other thing that I was looking to that was actually really cool is you can do, you can actually grab the video information from the guy. Also, if you wanted to capture your own, you know, a screen, a screen casting of the videos that you're looking through, you can get that information by accessing some of these classes, the NR video capture. It will give you that information and then they show you how you can capture 
video. So again, if you want to get the dev kit today, just go ahead and go into the portal here. And I want to say thank you to Unreal for providing me one of the devices. As soon as I get the device, I'm going to be showing you more of how it works and also some of the features that are included. Thank you, guys. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video on Unreal development. If you guys have additional questions on anything that I just mentioned, please let me know in the comments. Also, be sure to check out LearnXR.io where I'm doing VR training and I'm going to be doing augmented reality training in the upcoming weeks. I also like to invite you to Patreon.com where I'm basically doing early access to source code and I'm also showing what I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much, guys.